the target that is in Alexandria is unmatched, especially if you go like on a Thursday morning and nobody's in there, you'll have a time, believe me. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Q In with Anita. Um, I haven't talked to you guys for a while, so Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, Happy 2024, Happy Valentine's Day. I hope everyone had this really sweet Valentine. Today we're gonna to be jumping into the cost of living in Alexandria. The cost of living overall is expensive. So we're just gonna, we're gonna address the elephant in the room. It is expensive. So we're gonna focus on number one, cost of housing. Number two, why the cost of housing has continued to change. And number three, what can you expect in 2024 for the cost of living here in Alexandria? So. What do you think of the DMV? Or what anyone thinks of the DMV? Maybe not you specifically. The biggest question that you get as a realtor is, okay, well, if I don't want to live in the city, where am I going to live? And the most consistent answer across the board tends to be Northern Virginia, more specifically, right in Alexandria, which is about 20 minutes from a BC line, depending on traffic on 395. <laughs> um, Cost of living in Alexandria on average, average home price is about $670,000. Your total income, you know, annually to maintain a household in Alexandria is right around $105,000. Your average energy bill, your utilities, right around $175 per month. If you are thinking, okay, well, what's going to be the cost for me to get around town? Uh, for you to get around town, you are going to spend about $4.24. But quick little thing, guys. Don't be right in the middle of Alexander. Kind of go to the outskirts and you can find some gas for $3.99. Just a, little, just a little tidbit for you to think about. If you are thinking, you know what? I would love to relocate to Alexander, but more than just housing, like, how much would it cost to feed a family? When you start tallying it all up and comparing it to the rest of the United States, cost of living here is about 40% higher than the rest of the United States. And with that 40%, you're really purchasing zip code and you, your true benefit is proximity to the district. So you have a lot of the amenities that people in the district enjoy. So close proximity to everything you can think of amazing eateries in the area. You are in close proximity to shopping. The Target that is in Alexandria is unmatched, especially if you go like on a Thursday morning and nobody's in there, you'll have a time, believe me. Um, if you are looking for a location where you can spread out a little bit, but you'd like to be close to the city, it offers that as well. So you are incorporating a lot of things that people in the region are looking for. However, you are not paying the high price value that you would get in the district or in Arlington, which that pricing, that'll be for another video. The cost of living in Arlington. If you're looking to have that video sooner rather than later, comment below. When you're thinking about your cost of living, obviously transportation is gonna come up. And for your typical government worker that's on the blue line, coming from Alexandria into DC and back, you're gonna be spending on average about $13 a day. Now, a lot of government workers right now are in about the four day or three day in office run. And then the remainder of the time, they tend to be staying home, working from home, remote. So you can average out three days a week in office, going on the blue line from Alexandria, maybe King Street Station, you're typically going to find Metro between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. It's packed. Now, if you are brave, brave enough to hit the highway, the cost per gallon uh, is $4.24. But if you're feeling, feeling like a little bit of a scenic drive further out into Virginia, you can definitely find gas for a lot cheaper, $3.99. I'm sure of it. And then, you know, when things, when things get going, really, really, really get going high on gas, gas prices. You can definitely go to the cash gas uh, station and get that 385. One of the reasons why cost of living is so high is because school districts 
in the area tend to be that one of the highest as far as scores in the country. So it's very competitive. So you're spending quite a bit of money on housing. Now, another huge aspect that affects life in Alexandria right now is the fact that this is so threw away. Amazon's new headquarters is in Virginia as well. So you are finding not only a ton of government workers that are your neighbors, it is a lot of people that are coming with the transition of Amazon's headquarters number two, located in Crystal City. And then there's quite a few data centers that are coming up and down the th kind of 395 corridor into Prince William County. So later on in this series, you will see me heading right on over to Prince William County and I'll let you know what it's like living here as well. Living in Alexandria, it is a very unique experience. One of the things that I love is it has the ability to appeal to people that love the big city, but also it feels like just a small neighborhood as well. Old Town Alexander, especially. I don't know about you guys, but I always have a little bit of, go through an obsessive phase. So right now, Maze Cafe, I absolutely love right on Washington and Duke. And that is literally just 10 minutes away from DC, having the one, some of the most, you know, some of the most eclectic cultural experiences in the region. But in Old Town, they actually still have some cobblestone roads, which it's not fun to walk in and hails, ladies, but it is absolutely a dream to walk through on a spring afternoon and have a little bit of coffee to experience the day. While Alexandria is incredibly pricey, it really does have so much appeal that anyone that's relocating, they tend to consider it at least for a couple of days because it is such a dreamy uh, location. If I were to come to the region and start, you know, start fresh. One of the reasons I would consider Alexandria is the fact that it is, it allows for a more cost-effective living experience than the district where things like groceries, uh, your average bread, a uh, loaf of bread tends to be closer to $6. Whereas in Northern Virginia and Alexandria specifically, it's about $4.28. And while that may not, that while that may be more expensive by about 10%, um, more expensive than the rest of the country, it's definitely cheaper than DC. Not to say that I don't like DC, love it. Please don't come for me, DMV people. I'm supposed to tell you that you only should be spending about 30% of your income for your housing costs every month. But in the DMV area, that's not as realistic as we would hope. So as you kind of look at your budget, it's okay to be a little bit flexible with yourself. If you're looking to move to Alexandria, it's okay. It's not gonna be as cheap as you think, but it's definitely gonna be worth it, let me tell you.